Rabies is one of the deadliest viruses known to mankind. And the first step in preventing or controlling an outbreak is to confirm a suspected rabies case and report it to the authorities. The Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory here at the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine is one of an elite number of labs across the nation that has the technology and the expertise to confirm these cases. So let's go inside and meet the team that's keeping you and me and our pets from going mad. Dr. Wong is a virologist and one of 20 veterinarians that work in the college's diagnostic laboratory. It's here that every day they process hundreds of samples to try to help veterinarians around the state and the nation identify what disease is ailing their patients. Today is a typical day in the office for Dr. Wong and his team. They're getting ready to process the day's rabies cases, usually around 15 brains. That's right, you heard me correct. There's only one way to diagnose rabies in animals. You can't find it in a test tube or a Petri dish or an MRI or CAT scan. You have to have the animal's brain. Debbie Kasu has been processing brains at the diagnostic laboratory for several years. And every day she suits up in her protective gear to work with these specimens that are potentially carrying the lethal rabies virus. Because of the threat to human health, she'll double glove so that if one of her outer gloves tears when working with the specimen, she'll still be protected. Then she'll carefully handle the brain to put a sample of cells onto a slide for Dr. Wong to review. He'll walk down the hall to his microscope, but it's not just your regular microscope, it's a fluorescence microscope, and it allows Dr. Wong to get images like this. It might look like a beautiful galaxy, but it's actually a rabies positive sample. And we know this because of how it fluoresces. This is the negative the, the sample. As you can see here, is no any the green color or sparkling green color show on this slice. And this is another slice and show the so strong the sparkling green color. And is this sample is from the bed and is a strong positive. And this slice is show also positive from the same animal and is just a different area of the scope. And you can see it have the strong positive signal, the sparkle green. Although the technology involved in viewing a rabies sample under a microscope has advanced significantly over the past 70 years, the steps that laboratory personnel take to process the specimens hasn't actually changed as much. Though nowadays we're much more careful with biosecurity and we never touch a brain without double gloving, like they're doing here. And those protocols that public health departments advertised in the 1950s to prevent rabies epidemics in people and animals? Well, those recommendations still hold true today. To keep your pets and our community safe, remember to follow these three steps. Vaccinate your pets. Vaccination prevents the development of rabies. Don't approach wild animals that are acting strange. Report them to your local public health authorities. And if you or your pet are bitten by a wild animal or an animal with an unknown vaccination status, be sure to seek medical attention immediately. By following those simple steps, you can help keep our pets and our communities safe.